Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you are listening to us. Two and a half days of the first ever 5S Smart Fest uh, have been done now. It, so far, it has been a great event. And uh, let's summarize a bit what uh, was the content and what we experienced. We had more than 40 hours of program this year with more than 150 speakers. So really a great, a fantastic lineup of competent speakers from all over the world uh, addressing different time zones. And we had roughly 2,500 participants, uh, not only in AirMeet, we also uh, streamed live. So there were other channels to participate. And uh, we had launch of several publications. We will go, we will come to that in a few seconds. And we had for the first time ever a Spanish speaking session and uh, we got very good feedback on this. And this is maybe an idea uh, to do sessions in other languages also in the future. But uh, let me now uh, talk to my management team and uh, let's start with Juanco. So Juanco, which has been your highlights, your main contents of this two and a half days of the 5S Smart Fest? Okay. Um, yeah, we can hear you. Yes. Uh, I think we're going to use the slides or, or it's... Yeah, um, you can see my slide. I hope that it... Uh, yeah, maybe someone in the back office can help me because my prompter is not working at the moment. Um, okay. Over yeah, to yeah. you. Now we see. Uh, yes, well, it has been uh, uh, very intensive uh, days. Um, uh, but uh, uh, I tried to summarize with the, the ta main takeaways. Uh, well, as you know, um, several position white papers have been released this week. Uh, um, all of them have been uh, results of a collective effort. Uh, some of them involved in uh, um, uh, use cases, but uh, also um, members of the different mission support committees. And I think. Uh, this is good stuff uh, that um, now is time to disseminate. Uh, so we counted you. Um, it will be continuous work um, uh, uh, with new releases of these uh, digital twins and data space uh, position papers uh, and, and also new papers coming out. Uh, we expect in addressing the, the other uh, areas like uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning or robotics uh, and uh, uh, blockchain, um, uh, complementing the one that uh, was also released on AI for CDs. Uh, uh, very important, we um, made the announcement of Fiverr Release 8 uh, um, together with this SmartFest, uh, uh, many things to to explain around that, uh, the family is growing with uh, more components um, being included. Uh, um, um, right, uh, the last days uh, with the inclusion, for instance, of the IDS connector coming from engineering that was uh, incorporated, uh, a comprehensive support of uh, NGS ILD all over the uh, full fiber stack. Components for the creation of data spaces is, is uh, one section that now and for the future will be coming out uh, together with the uh, different releases of uh, Fiware and, uh, and the activities that we are running uh, towards uh, supporting uh, mission critical deployments on Kubernetes and, uh, and also continuing with the performance testing activities that uh, has uh, have shown up uh, that uh, firewall technology can really uh, play in the prime uh, in the prime uh, leak and what regards to performance a uh, comprehensive touch uh, roadmap in place i think uh, through the different sessions on blockchain um, digital twins uh, robotics data spaces ai um, we uh, I think uh, provided good testimonies that uh, it was not just the vision, it's also uh, great use cases and 
um, going on and demonstrating that um, uh, fiber is in a privileged and I would say unique position on on those topics and and the way they could be integrated. Um, we will continue working on that. Uh, uh, you may remember. I want to take advantage to remind you, the uh, technical steering committee is open. You can uh, attend all the meetings every Monday, and um, and also the uh, different tech uh, roadmap working groups that are connected to all these topics. So. I think those were uh, main uh, takeaways, um, and yeah, that's uh, I think a, a bit uh, the summary. Yeah, and you've also been working on the uh, tech performance, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I already mentioned that, and I wanted to be as short as possible. But uh, yes, uh, um, this tech performance activities. Uh, um, um, will continue. Um, uh, I think we already were able to demonstrate through that that uh, that uh, context worker technologies is actually in the in the Premier League uh, uh, when we talk about um, serving the needs of uh, users in terms of uh, performance scalability. Uh, we have been able to demonstrate uh, how the context broker can scale uh, linearly as you in, increase the the hardware resources and therefore. It's a matter of um, assigning the proper hardware resource, how you can cope with whatever requirements your applications may have. And the question is that we will continue the, that activity um, um, incorporating in this performance testing all the components of the firewall stack and, and yes, and going um, with a comprehensive uh, performance analysis end to end. Okay, great. That's a great message to the market that the fiber technology is ready for the market requirements. So, Stefano, um, what's your uh, resume of the yeah. event? But I think you are showing old slides because I have. <laughs> Maybe I can share my screen because I produce it. Uh, you would. You may share your screen. No problem. That's the COO slide. Huh? I don't know why, maybe I was <laughs> doing something different. Yeah. Can you see my screen? Yes. Hmm? So, yes, thank you, Ulrich. Uh, I think um, uh, as following your your message initially, I, 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 this was a great event and which show a very alive uh, and continuously growing uh, community and ecosystem. Uh, one measure could be the fact that we, during all the sessions, there were a lot of messages and some, sometimes also the, were difficult to answer to all, to all of them or to properly handle all of them. And so I apologize for this, but really was this was a great sign of aliveness. And also, uh, the continuous growth is manifested in two other ways. Uh, during also this event, uh, I'm, uh, I'm following the, 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 the submission of requests of membership, and we received several, I would say many. So this is also another good sign. But also, and I'm connected to the next two points, uh, also, we saw the birth during this event of two, at, at least two new uh, boards. One is the scientific advisory board, which uh, we was launched um, uh, earlier this morning. Uh, and uh, what was great there also is to hear that there are a lot of uh, news, uh, new and visionary ideas and of, uh, of uh, leading edge technologies where uh, that fiber uh, shall, shall cope with in, in the next coming uh, uh, periods. Uh, also, it was interesting that the way that those ideas were binded to uh, adoption and to business development. So I think this is also a good way for, for the, the scientists that we are involving of uh, not uh, uh, looking at the sky, but looking at a vision 
and, and affordable vision, which I think is uh, rather important. The planet is looking for that. Uh, and because of this, the other uh, board, board uh, was, is, the, the, is a new mission super committee on smart water. This is um, uh, something really important because it brings uh, fiber to the sustainability goals um, uh, the, that uh, the United Nations set. And also this brings us to uh, <clears throat> not only look at technology, but also to look at the social aspects of adoption of our technology. So I think this is uh, a, a different step in the growth. Uh, so with this, uh, I would like to invite uh, all of the attendees and others to join uh, if interest and uh, <clears throat> proper skill this mission super committee, as well as, of course, of the other four mission super committee that uh, in the, during the first day, they show their progresses and their uh, establishment into the, into the community. <clears throat> I would like also to to mention as another element of uh, uh, strength of the community, the participation to the, to the member only session earlier this morning on open calls. Uh, of course, this mention was, was closed, uh, this session was closed as I mentioned, but nevertheless uh, showed uh, uh, the interest and the sense of community that all the participants has. So, so sharing ideas in order to find a better way to participate in, in the forthcoming uh, calls uh, to establish uh, again fiber in, in, in this in this on those frameworks actually so that's that are my main messages here mm -hmm. okay stefano thank you very much and now um, coming to our chief marketing officer uh, christina what are your main takeaways while we are sharing uh, the screen. Yeah, so first of all, I, I think we can all say it was a fantastic event uh, for the marketing team. Also, uh, almost 40 hours of live transmission. By the way, um, this is again not the correct slides, I have to say, I'm sorry. So... Um, okay. Then uh, would you please share, maybe we have uh, then uh, here uh, a hiccup in the slides. Yeah, so if you like, you can just take them off for a second and I speak without slides. That's not a problem while the team is picking them up. And okay. um, so, yeah, I, I would say a fantastic event. Uh, also exciting because we used for the first time a very interactive platform. The idea was to allow all the participants to not only listen and, of course, also interact on stage, but also interact behind the scene. So we had table discussions, we, we had the uh, offering of going one-to-one, -one, and um, many have already used that. I know we all who are waiting for, again, live events, um, but uh, while we're waiting, I think this was a fantastic alternative showing, um, also following Stefano's words, that the community is as strong as it loves also to engage that way. Um, Said that, we heard a lot of initiatives before. Uh, it's marketing's job to make something out of that that is understandable, that gets out to the market, that is picked up, and that people love to read and to deal with. So um, besides the products that you heard already about from Huanco when it comes to digital twins and data spaces, so two brand new position papers, we also just launched our Fiber for Cities booklet. It's an ebook. Um, with almost 100 pages and 36 cities, and that's just the first edition while we're working on the next one. Um, uh, still with the target this year to bring at least 100 of them into it. Um, as we know, there's more than 200 cities already working with Fiber, but here is the first part where you can get details really through really a nice um, summary and a catalog. But we also launched a white paper for AI, and um, by the way, the fifth edition already of the Fiber fi Fighting Climate Change booklet. And we don't stop with such products. Uh, we do a lot of engaging things 
what we can call also collaborative activities. So four hackathons to come this year still. We have uh, other position and white papers to come and editorial campaigns where we always collaborate uh, with our members. So for all of these topics that I just mentioned, if you want to be engaged, if you just want to come on board and be part of that, you just contact our marketing team or go on our website, sign up for a newsletter or um, just find some of the, the people there that you can contact and let us know. I'm also very happy that the two sessions that, we, that we've done on geographical focus were really a nice success. Um, we did one for North America and one for LATAM, LATAM in Spanish language even. And so we've decided, and that's really looking into the future, to make it a task force and create a full strategic approach for these two regions and um, engage with our community on a, on a concrete plan. So you, hear, you will hear from us there as well. And while we're um, speaking, we are founding uh, also the fifth mission support comedy, which is for water, just mentioned. So if you want to be part of that one, um, you contact, please, Fernando from our fiber team. Also, I think a very uh, fantastic news uh, moving into an official fifth target industry that marketing will pick up as well and obviously promote and disseminate in the market. Um, let's move to the next page. I will just give for a few more seconds some hints what's upcoming in the next weeks. And here I would love to ask my team, if possible, to um, make the slides again small or have Ulrich standing aside so we can see the full page. That'll be great. Um, we have, thank you. Yeah, fantastic. Thanks a lot. I'm sorry, Ulrich, I make you standing up. but. <laughs> Okay, um, we can see we have really lots of fairs coming up uh, in fall and um, there's lots of world leading fairs where we are back on stage live and uh, we are happy to see you all there and I just want to pick out four major ones where you can definitely see us we're ready in preparation of the booth building. So this is IoT Solutions World Congress in Barcelona. This is in Hamburg ITS. This is in Germany Smart Country Convention and back in Barcelona Smart Smart Smart, Smart City Expo World Congress. And there's a, a few more, but these are the four where you definitely should come and meet us. Looking on the next page, another uh, nice highlight, um, which is a little movie. And um, also this is a collaborative approach. And here I will ask quickly my team, are we ready to show video? I think we are. Yeah. So when you watch it online, you would usually also get some music. We shared uh, this little video uh, uh, all across the social media. And um, while we're doing this, not only to show how the community really works together and which successes they have already created, but also because Fiverr is turning five this year. So we will work together on great campaigns. So you see two faces here. These are the two people that are ready to work with you. This is Val and Max, and you can meet them in the marketing team. And then we have a few more highlights on shows upcoming. So let's just move to the next, um, yeah, to the next, next one, please. Another one, thank you. So just next week, um, I want to invite you to a uh, firework camp in Gran Canaria. And this is really something for the tech fans and developers of our community because um, it's a firework IHOP that's creating or that has created this firework camp to get everything around firework and uh, technical training. Um, some of the program is in Spanish. I think there's also a few English sessions. So go to the program and check it out. And said that, just wanted to let you know, we have this afternoon still great stuff upcoming. And here, let's just move back two slides in the slide set here, uh, because there is um, the accelerator day still ongoing. So after Ulrich will have given the last words, we will move 
into the engagement of venture capitalists and accelerators meeting fiber smart companies that come from startup session startup initiatives and um, small and medium sized companies companies that want to use fiber and create additional business and we will hook them up there so this is a meeting point with our six currently um, partners that we're collaborating on with so this is for this afternoon and with that i would move back to Ulrich and thank you so much for the time to give an insight into the super next features we're bringing up. We cannot hear you, Urit. Yeah. Hear me? Yeah, because my microphone no. was switched. You're back. So thank you very much for uh, the note and uh, thank you very much to Christina, to Stefano, to Juanjo for pointing out the highlights uh, from your point of view. And again, we had so many participants, we received so many positive feedback on this uh, digital event we had, um, but still we are also looking forward uh, to meet you in person. Um, now I have to ask uh, my director here to switch to the next slide because my device, although battery shows full, is not working. Um, so we need to go a bit further, uh, further, yeah, what's coming up next? GAIA-X is something which uh, was part of our event during the two and a half days so far and um, the next step will be to contribute to make GAIA-X reality. We have published the 5FO data spaces book and uh, for all of you who know Gaia X a bit more you know this X which is um, the logo and the core architecture of uh, Gaia X and here we will position our support and our contribution to the upper part of the X to make data spaces reality based on Gaia X and to enable the data economy uh, based on interoperable data spaces and for this we announced when we signed the memorandum of understanding with idsa uh, to create what is called as a working title at the moment but maybe it uh, will stay as a title the so-called front runner data spaces group we've been very successful with the front runner smart cities initiative creating in the meantime more than 600 data models which are all on GitHub and adopt it in the meantime around the world. And this is also our ambition to provide open source building blocks, open source standards to make data spaces based on GAIA-X reality. We will see the first in October of this year at the ITS World Congress in Germany when the first implementation of a data space based on GAIA-X will become reality. That's the mobility data space where we are also um, contributing. And as I said, the globalization of standards and here definitely also our partnership, our even more confirmed partnership with the open and agile smart cities community will support us in the globalization of these standards. And as Stefano mentioned before, um, we will generate opportunities, we will create consortia to apply for Digital Europe, to apply for Horizon Europe, this uh, funding, big funding programs of the European Commission. And with all of this, we will make the way to enable the global economy. And uh, as I said before, um, what's coming up next? We are really looking forward uh, also to meet you in person in the future again. Um, you can click through uh, to have all of them. I started on Wednesday with this vision of Five Air, going a bit into the history, but uh, also looking ahead for the next three years. And what I explained before is what is uh, driving us. So uh, to create 
data marketplaces. And again, here will in Europe will um, GaiaX play a certain role, but also our activities in the area of artificial intelligence of distributed ledger technologies will help us to do so. Then the global standardization with standard APIs, with standard data models, enabling the interoperability of different data spaces and creating synergies and the potential to replicate solutions from one end user to the other. And finally with this, to enable the global data economy based on data spaces. And again, I highly recommend to have a look at our uh, positioning papers on data spaces, on artificial intelligence, and um, uh, also on digital twins, uh, which uh, is becoming more and more important. And on this journey, we will be guided by our strategy compass, which I explained before, uh, with the four compass directions of growth, of market readiness, of the different domains where we have now uh, water again in the game, and finally, the globalization. All that is put together in the uh, five year strategy in a nutshell. And we've covered nearly all of these topics during the two and a half days. And for me, it is very important that the whole community has a common understanding on this strategy, on the way to go using this compass to guide us through the uh, next month and next years. And all of this will only be possible with a really engaged team. And I hope you got the impression and the experience that we really have an engaged team. And uh, you can see our team here, the team of the Fiverr Foundation um, with the uh, marketing team of uh, Christina, with the technical team of uh, Juanco, and with the operations team of Stefano. Um, and with the support of Andrea, uh, who is uh, supporting all of us in our team here, um, close to 30 people. And we are here to serve you. We are here to support you to do business based on Fiverr technology. Um, you know, Fiverr technology with was born in a public-private partnership of the European Commission with uh, a lot of European companies, organizations, universities, and we made it to the market. After the creation of the Fiverr Foundation, Fiverr is adopted now around the globe in different verticals. Our flagship vertical is smart cities, where more than 200 cities on, in more than 30 countries are implementing their smart city strategies, doing their digitization, using Fiverr technology and Fiverr standards. With this, I would like to close this uh, session for this moment. Don't miss to follow us on the different channels and don't miss to use the <coughs> functionalities of AirMeet now. We will have in the next uh, hour a launch opportunity so you can meet in the launch, go out of the session, go to the launch, meet, meet new people, meet uh, people who are participating here to whom you anyhow wanted to talk, similar as if we would have a break in a real event. And real event, we are analyzing the option to have really a physical event back in uh, or still this year, maybe in November. Next week, we will visit uh, two possible locations. It is too early to announce where this could be. Um, it will be in Europe. Um, the plan is to have it around November in a location within Europe where it is still pleasant uh, weather-wise uh, to be there. And uh, stay tuned, listen to what's coming up in the Fiverr ecosystem. And then after this um, launch part, uh, as Christina announced, we will have the uh, Fiverr acceleration, bringing accelerators and startups and SMEs 
um, together. And this will start, I think, around uh, 2, 1.30 or 2. I don't have it, to be honest, uh, in mind. Thank you very much for your, so at 2, I just got the sign, 2 p.m. Uh, this part will start. Thank you very much to all of you for your participation. Thank you very much to the whole team of the Fiverr Foundation and all the contributors to the presenters for putting this great program together and looking forward to see you in the future again at real physical events. Thank you.